Buzz it on that beat, ho. Oh. Oh. Jeremy Panikar here, and we are in between sets with Kyle Greve. Today we're going to find out how to get strong. So, with one of the strongest guys in Vancouver, in BC, powerlifter. So, Kyle, how do we get strong? Wow, that's a loaded question. Uh, a couple different things that I've noticed from working with people. Um, number one, they don't even have, people don't eat enough food. If you want to get strong, you need to eat food. And I'm not, this isn't just for, you know, if you're competing and you need to stay in the same weight class, it's a little bit different. But honestly, if you just start eating food and you gain weight, every lift will go up, like period. Even, even if you don't necessarily train it as hard as you can. Um, and then on top of that, programming, you see tons and tons of people in the gym just spinning their wheels over and over and over again, doing the same old stuff they see in, whatever magazine that you can pick up. Muscle and fitness. Exactly. One of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle and fitness, exactly. And, um, you know, they don't necessarily have a direction. They don't really know why they're there. They're just there to, I don't know, tell people that they can work, that they work out. So the, the main thing is find a solid strength program. Exactly. And you need to find a solid strength program and you need to believe in it and you need to do it for an extended period of time. You can't, there's tons of these people who will be like, oh yeah, I tried this program and it didn't work. And it's like, okay, how long did we on the program for? And like two weeks. Like, and is it common course. that one person when they start a strength program, their strength might go down first? Yes. So, um, uh, I've, I've, I'm, I'm right, working on writing an article right now about that actually. And it's basically about if you're starting a program that's based on percentages, you should always begin with, um, you know, taking 10 to 15% off of your one rep max. So that doesn't mean necessarily that you're weaker. It just means that the weights you're using are going to be, um, you know, pretend if, if you, if you, if you do a one rep max, every single workout session, yeah, it's going to be lighter because if you're doing 200 pounds, you take off 10 to 15%, that's, you know, um, 180 pounds, it's going to be less, less weight, but you're going to be doing more reps and you keep building up those reps more and more over a longer period of time. And then you're going to retry your max and it's going to be higher. So for the viewers out there, are there any strength programs that you recommend? Yeah, um, ones that I really like are 531 by Jim Wendler. The Cube by Brandon Lilly is really good. Um, honestly, those are like the only two real programs that I've done that you can kind of buy in, in, in an ebook format. Everything else I've done is kind of on my own. But um, the Juggernaut method is very, very good. Um, but yeah, those two, those programs, those are, that's a good base to build from. All right, so since you have insanely big PRs, you can lift 225 pounds over your head, you can deadlift an insane amount. Yeah. You know, other people out there, they want to know how to get strong like you. Where can they reach you? You can reach me on my website at www.kylegreve.com. Um, I've got links for everything, my YouTube. Um, I've got tons and tons of workout videos on there. Um, they're mainly just my training for myself, but I'm trying to get some more instructional videos on there for people who want to learn as well. Awesome. So you guys out there, if you want Kyle Grieve to come help you out, reach him online. He has lots of valuable information. So hit him up, check it out, and get strong. This is In Between Sets. Kyle has to go uh, lift some more weight. So we'll see you guys later. Buzz it on that beat. Buzz it on that beat. Oh. Oh.